Hello, Leo. Welcome back to my channel. We're doing your next 48. Um, this is July 14 and 15 for Leo, the Lion King, Queen, Lioness. All right, Sun, Moon, Rising, and the North Node. Let's see. What are the messages for my lions? <sighs> my lion. Okay, let's see. Leo. Sun and moon. Okay, wow. Okay, we have the Queen of Cups and we have the... Ooh, okay, so this is very interesting how this fell out. Um, you see how the Emperor fell out, but hiding behind the Emperor was the Queen of Wands. So it looks like somebody could be interfering in your relationship or interfering in your business or somebody is very tempting because the Emperor is usually very disciplined. Now here you are in the middle. It looks like you are in the middle of something here, Leo. This could be a business proposition or... It's almost like there's two people in the running for this business or for this position of a boss or for a leader, leadership position here. All right, but I'm, I'm getting whoever the, whoever the water energy is, the water energy is not even paying attention or they don't have, or they may be too emotional to take the lead. Now you're sitting here pretty or handsome, very confident, self-assured. Okay, you know what the hell you're doing. All right, also the queen of wands, it could be male or female. The queen of wands is known to be a witch. All right, someone who's very confident, um, someone who's very warm, flirtatious, outgoing, someone that everybody tends to like. All right, but we do have a water sign here. I'm not sure if it's a third person, but I'm getting it is. Now, this could be someone that you're dealing with at your work, or this could be this could be you kind of being in your emotions about something. But it's almost like if you are in your emotions, it's almost like you quickly snap back to reality and you know back to Leo mode. All right. Because I'm getting like somebody does not have the emotional stability to run a business or someone is not emotionally mature enough to be disciplined enough to be loyal to the throne or loyal to the seat or whatever this is. Okay, so we have the three of cups. Yes, yeah, somebody is like a partier or somebody has a tendency to have a third party or someone... I don't know. It's like three is a crowd here. There's too many people involved. Now, this could be a birthday party. Maybe you are attending a Cancerian's birthday party or a Leo. Maybe you're planning your own birthday, Leo. Your birthday is coming up next month. Okay, we have the four of wands. Yeah, I'm getting, your, I'm getting a house party here or a house warming or there's too many people living in one home and it's crowded. Okay. I'm getting too many irresponsible people as well. Yeah, we have the star card. All right, now one of these people could be sick or like elderly here. You could be taking care of this person, but I'm getting you're being inspired to do something. I'm getting like celebrity here. This is all of these cards are cards of being a celebrity. I'm getting you are a celebrity or you're becoming one like overnight, but I'm getting you are being inspired or influenced to do something big, to do something grand, to get on stage and just do that shit celebrity period if you're not a celebrity you are you are going to become one or you're meant to be a celebrity here because the star card is your opposite energy this is aquarius your opposite sign aquarius is the star aquarius rules large crowds aquarius rules inspiration aquarius rules and influence okay aquarius rules hopes wishes this is all things that aquarius rules it's their domain the 11th house all right, we have 11, 11. So this could be like, this could be a divine counterpart, a match made in heaven, a very powerful relationship. I'm getting a power couple. Okay, let's go around again for you, but I'm getting your own stage. I'm getting you need to get into character as well. Yeah, this is your calling. You are being called to be an influencer, to be a boss. I'm getting it's I'm getting it as your calling to be a celebrity or to be celebrated or frequented. This could be something that you do from home. You don't have to go outside. Maybe you work from home. Okay, or you're doing it with your partner, but this is your calling. This this is a very these are this is a very clear indication of, of, of a celebrity here. This is what you're meant to do. So you could have Leo in the North Node. That is that is a celebrity placement depending on where it is especially if you if you have leo north node in your 10th house that is celebrity status okay actor actress singer dancer okay whatever get your ass out there get your ass on stage all right now depending on where that leo is sitting in your chart but i'm getting with these placements yeah celebrity you're a celebrity are you meant to be one you need to heed the call all right wow we have all these cards falling out for you yeah okay we have we have these cards coming out inverted. We have the five of swords and we have the full card. It looks like you may be fearing success or you're fearing celebrity status or you're fearing being in the public eye. You're fearing people seeing you. It's like you're fearing being frequented. You're fearing being a leader. 
You're fearing, you're fearing having that position or taking that responsibility on yourself because the full call reverse is like you don't want to take the leap of faith. You don't want to do this. You don't want competition. You don't want to battle. You just kind of want to sit in your house and do nothing. Maybe run your bath water and take baths all day. All right. But it's like you don't want the competition. You don't want the fight. I'm getting you may, you may even you may even hate celebrities. You may feel like celebrities are very petty. You don't want to be an entertainer. You don't want to be somebody's fool. You don't want to shuck and jive, but I'm not getting that's what this is. Okay, yeah, I'm getting you don't want you don't want to compete, but this is your card. The five of the five of wands. That's the first deacon of your sign. You were born to be a competitor. It just it is what the hell it is. Get off your ass and stop being afraid. Now, this could be with a loved one. Okay, I'm getting you love to do something, but you're afraid to do it alone. Are, am I talking? Is this for Leo? I forgot who I was reading for. This is like, are you, what is this, Leo? You're being very scary. It's like Leo, the, the cowardly lion. Like, what the hell's going on? Okay, let's go around again for you. And yes, I'm, about to, I'm all in your ass because you are the Leo. You are the, the king of the jungle. Like, really? <laughs> no, I'm just playing, Leo, before you get all sensitive with your... Fragile little ego. I'm just kidding. All right. Gosh. Sensitive self. All right. Let's go around again. Let's go around again, please, for Leo, the, the lion, where they get mad at me. Okay. We have the Ten of Cups. Yeah. It's like, okay. We have the High Priestess. So I'm getting, I'm getting you have a special gift. You're very intuitive with the High Priestess. You know this is your calling. You know you have to do this, but you're afraid to do it. This is your calling, Leo. You're being called to be a boss. I'm getting you're not doing it because of family or maybe that you have to do it by yourself. You want, I'm getting you want to bring somebody with you or this is not what you thought it was going to be. This is not the ideal job. You didn't see it happening this way in your mind. Oh, well. Okay, but I'm getting, I'm getting somebody warned you about this. It could be another Leo or a fire sign or maybe even an Aries. But I'm getting you're being called to be a celebrity or to be on stage. I'm getting too, you could be getting a call back about, about a audition that you tried out for. They're calling you back. They want you to be, I'm getting, I'm getting, you're going to be in the top lead, like the top three characters. You're going to be one of them, like the protagonist or maybe the antagonist here, but you're going to be, you're going to, you're going to be part, part of the main storyline. I'm getting, I'm getting a big break here. What's the 10 of cups? What's the 10 of cups, please? So somebody could want you to be in a movie or you're like, what the hell? I ain't not. Okay. Yeah. We have the nine, the, the 10 of Pent uh, nine of pentacles. You are very slow to act or very slow to move, but this could be someone you're dealing with because this other person is very slow to act and very slow to move. I'm getting you were, you were thinking this person was going to come with you. Maybe, maybe that's what you wanted. could be a Cancerian or a water sign. Three of cups, please. Yeah. The five of cups. Yeah. You're mad because I'm getting you wanted somebody else to you wanted somebody else to come with you. You wanted somebody to accompany you. Maybe a lover. You thought this person was going to be on stage with you, but they're not going to be with you, Leo. You have to do it by yourself. I'm getting you have to leave somebody behind and that that saddens you. Or maybe maybe somebody else got that position with the with the with the 5 of cups. It looks like you took too long to act or you took too long to make a move. Yeah, we have the king of cups. It's almost like somebody else was chosen because you didn't want to act on it. A water sign, possibly Cancer, Piscean, or Scorpio. Yeah, we have the we have the Empress. So here's the Emperor and the Empress here showing up together, a power couple. It's like you you may you you you're stuck now, or somebody could be incarcerated. It's like you it's like you created a self-imposed prison. So now you it's like somebody else got the role, or somebody else was called to be with this person. Maybe you thought you were gonna be with this person, but I'm getting it's like. I don't know. I'm getting you're not suited or you don't, you don't act fast enough. You don't take action when action needs to be taken. You sit there and you procrastinate. Okay. So I'm, I'm, maybe you thought it was going to come from a different avenue or it was going to, it wasn't, this wasn't the way that you imagined. Okay. It's almost like you're sad because someone is becoming a celebrity or I don't know. What's the nine of pentacles? I'm getting now I'm getting you could you could be happy for them, but you're also missing them. You're wish you wish that you could be doing this with them. Okay, what is the, okay, we have the, okay, now, yeah, we have the, the uh, chariot, Cancerian. All right. So I'm getting, I'm getting a Cancerian is, is significant to this reading. I'm not sure if a Cancerian got that role and you didn't. I'm getting like you missed out or something. You missed an opportunity because you're, you failed to act. Okay, we have the Knight of Swords. Yeah, somebody took action. 
Knight of Swords, and then we have the Knight of Cups. I'm getting somebody apologized to you or somebody wanted to make peace, but it's like you didn't want to do that or you... I don't know. It's like your pride got in the way or your ego got in the way. You didn't, you didn't take the action that was needed to be taken. So you were passed up for an opportunity. Yeah. The eight of swords, or maybe you were incarcerated or you were stuck or you could not move or you didn't, you were not in the position to even take the opportunity at all. So I'm getting you're a little bit disappointed by this. Somebody else was chosen. This could be relationship based, or maybe somebody else was chosen for a home that you wanted, a property that you wanted, but somebody else got that. Yeah, we have the two of pentacles. I'm, I'm, cause you couldn't make up your mind, Leo. You didn't, you couldn't decide what you wanted to do. It's like you were, you were like sitting on the fence here, or maybe you didn't have the money. Now this is about a home. I'm getting, I'm getting. You're going to miss out because you don't have the money right now, but that's okay. You're gonna be fine. There'll be other opportunities, okay? Cause it looks like you couldn't really make a move because you were stuck. Maybe you were incarcerated or you were on house arrest or you didn't have the funds or you, you just couldn't make it there on time. You didn't have the transportation, but I'm getting, you're going to be okay with the star card and the empress. You're going to be fine. So maybe you missed out on this, but there is something, I mean, there's something else. Two of pentacles, you have the eight of wands. Yeah. It's like, it's like you didn't take action. I don't know. It's like time waits for no man. Now, for others of you, it looks like something is like happening f quicker than what you, something is happening like too fast for you. Something's going too fast. And it's like you could not keep up. It's like you were, I don't know, something's just moving too, way too fast for you because the Nine of Pentacles and the Nine of Swords, that's totally different energies. It's like somebody came in and like took that offer away from you. So like the Nine of Swords is like, no, I'm taking this. I'm, I'm going to give her the offer. I'm going to say I love you or something. And so this is someone that you were wanting to be with. It's like, the Knight of Swords kind of came in and like, I don't know, like they, they, the Knight of Swords moves quickly and we have the tower. Yeah. I'm getting something. Somebody is blowing up quick, but it's because they're taking action. It's because they're doing something. They're actively, they're doing it. All right. What's the, what's the eight of wands in the tower? And I'm getting instead of it's, it's almost like you're sitting here sad and twiddling your thumbs when you could be taking action. It's like you're letting shit pass you by. I'm not sure why, I don't know what you're doing, Leo. Or maybe this is someone else. Maybe it's an, maybe it's an earth sign you wanted to come with you, but they just, they don't move when it's time to move. Somebody, somebody is stuck in the past or somebody is like wallowing in, in their woes or something. What's the eight of wands in the tower? It's almost like everything around you is moving quickly, but you're, you're not doing anything. You're just sitting there being sad and like thinking about the past and thinking about what you don't have and about this person or I'm getting to you could be thinking about a birthday or maybe that you're too old or something. What is the, the eight of wands in the tower? Eight of wands in the tower, please. Yeah. The three of swords. It's, it's like you, you, you're sitting here still thinking about a breakup or why something went wrong or why you don't have something here. So I'm getting, you may have to leave somebody behind because they're stuck in the past. It's like somebody, I don't know. Somebody is afraid to be by themselves or it's like somebody's stuck. They, they can't move. They're stuck in the past or they're, they can't seem to get over their ex or they can't seem to get over a breakup or they can't, they just can't seem to get over something that already happened. So I'm getting, if you miss an opportunity, it's like you're sitting here wallowing in it instead of taking action. And I'm getting somebody took action when, when, you know, the time came, when's the four of wands and the king of cups, this could be, this could be about a house. Okay, you missed your opportunity about a home, or maybe you were wanted, supposed to move in and you, you decided not to. But that's okay. Maybe you wanted something better. Yeah, we have the title card. I'm getting someone that's getting married, or I don't know. Yeah, we have the Seven of Wands. It's. I'm getting like somebody's resisting you, or somebody is blocking you because they're getting married, or they're moving in with someone else, or. They're in a relationship with another person. But if you're, if you're wondering why somebody did not take action towards you, it's because somebody could not get over their past. They couldn't get over an ex or they couldn't get over a breakup. So this, I'm getting, I'm getting you block this person because they, they just would not come towards you or they just would not act. They just would not do anything yet. Somebody was completely resisting you. This is your card or you were, you were completely resisting someone, giving them what they wanted. You, you refused to give them what they want. You refused to let swallow your pride or drop your, drop all your burdens or something. Okay. What's the star card in the Empress? It's almost like you self sabotage or you, you self sabotage or you held yourself back from this opportunity here. What is the what is the Empress and the Star card? 
Because I'm getting somebody is fighting for what they want. And it's like, you know, what is the Empress and the Star? Or this could be you, Leo. You're fighting for what you want and somebody else is just sitting there not doing anything. So you had to move on. Yeah, somebody, your ex. I'm getting somebody has children with somebody else. Somebody got married or somebody is with someone else now, living with someone else or something like that. Somebody is fighting for a new relationship or someone's fighting for a new love or this is you. This is your energy here. Okay, what's the title card? Seven of Wands. What is the title card in the Seven of Wands, please? Title card in the Seven of Wands. Yeah, because I'm getting like, maybe somebody, you could not get over your, maybe your mother passed or you got divorced and it's like, you just could not, you just weren't ready. You just could not get over that breakup. It was like a very hard breakup. And it's like, you just, you just, you're still not over it. And it, it keeps you from taking opportunities that present themselves to you. Great ones. Yeah, we have the Magician. Yeah, action. No action being taken. I, I'm getting it's, you know, what's the Six of Cups? Somebody was living in the past. What's the Six of Cups, please? I'm getting you're going to have to move on from someone who cannot get over something. Yeah, the Knight of Queen of Swords. Like somebody turned their back on you. Or you have to turn your back on someone. The Ten of Swords. Yeah, something is definitely over here. I'm getting some life goes on. Somebody's moving ahead in their life. You know, it's you may have to do something by yourself because... The people around you, they're not willing to take action or you're not. You choose what side you're on. But something is going to end here, unfortunately. I'm getting no communication, dead silence, excommunicated. Yeah, someone is like done here. They're, they're done with this situation. It's like somebody wants to move ahead and I'm getting like somebody else just can't get over the past. Okay, that was a very cut and dry reading for you. Let's pull some love cards. Let's pull some love cards, please. It's almost like you pushed this person away because you couldn't get over a breakup or you, you couldn't get over like a third party situation or something. Maybe you were dating, maybe you want to date multiple people and this person, they want something more traditional and you know, it's whatever. All right, we have new love. Yeah, it's somebody has somebody new, somebody's married or somebody's moving on with a new person. I don't know how this makes you feel. This could be you though. Getting you're moving on with somebody new because somebody else was like, they didn't want to let go of the third party. They didn't want to let go of the partying and the cheating and, you know, whatever this is. Maybe polygamy. We have wedding. Yeah, I'm getting someone is getting married. I'm getting all of a sudden someone's getting married. Like, it's happening very unexpectedly. I'm getting you may hear about this online or you may just be, you may, maybe you just know that someone is getting married. Maybe you saw a premonition that someone is getting married. You know it's going to happen. Yeah, we have give it a chance. Somebody, somebody took a chance. Somebody took action. All right. I mean, there will be more, but I'm getting this was a this could have been a divine counterpart for you. But it's just like you just weren't ready to go there yet. Yeah, we have it's worth the wait. OK, now this could be a situation where you're waiting to approach this person. But I'm getting I'm getting you were you thought it was worth the wait. And somebody else is like, no, I want I want this person now. So it's like I'm, I'm getting like someone is still waiting on you or you're still waiting on this person when. I'm getting there involved with someone else already and I'm getting this person could be getting married. Okay, so hopefully this helps you. Don't forget to like the video, leave your comments and subscribe. Thanks for watching. Bye.